What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Let's Pop In. If this is your first time here, I go with them as Sphere Sphere. What we do on this channel is that we explore and showcase some of the most beautiful properties in and around South Africa. Today we find ourselves at the Vibri Divatakant, just minutes away from Cape Town CBD. We're looking at 117 on strand, a building and a development which was spearheaded by Ingenuity, the developer with the helps from Fabian Architects and Kotrovitz Marais. Very stunning building. The, the overall design of the development was designed so specifically and so, to utilize space. That's one thing I can say. And before we get into this tour, massive shout out to Jody for getting us into her stunning listing. I think this is the, actually the best apartment in the development. So shout out to her. I'll leave her details down below with the listing details. Without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, let's prop in. Right, so starting the tour on this main ground floor. Firstly, you walk in, you're greeted on my right side. You're greeted by this stunning powder room. Really everything you need in a powder room, stunning finishes, simple, sleek, and modern. And then you come to the side. This is where the main sort of ground floor starts. You have these two double leaf doors that open up into the stunning open plan living. So this apartment is three bedrooms, 3.5 bathrooms, over 240 square meters of floor area also currently listed for 15.5 million. And you'll see throughout the tour how the, the apartment was designed so effectively and the use of space, especially how the space was used and uh, used vertically. So we'll see that throughout. So starting here, you see the floor, you have this dark charcoal floor tile finish, which is stunning. And throughout this tour, we will see this continuation of this color palette. So I love this area here, you have this this very heavy dining room table. It stays as a dining room table. I love the, the seating. And one thing in terms of the space, using the space effectively, this side you have this sort of the reveal. Throughout this apartment you have this reveal which can be used as a seating space for this dining room table and could be used for just overall just relaxing, looking at the views. We'll get to the views. Trust me, we will get to the views. Just looking at the views from there stunning so to my right if you guys just follow me this side have this sleek modern countertop granite countertop and also it's that gray finish which is consistent throughout and throughout the cabinetry you also get that gray finish splash back that dark charcoal finish tiling love the leds stunning if you come this side you have your separate sky with so much functional use you have your laundry machine washer dryer Dishwasher, my favorite, and double sink here. You have your smeg double sink here. Splashback, continuation of the splashback throughout the kitchen. You also have cabinetry, so much storage in this scullery. And if you're looking for an outlet, a window, this window opens out into the in interior of the whole development, whole apartment block. Obscure, so it can give you a little bit of privacy. So coming back to this side, the one thing I didn't mention to you guys, you have these lovely suspended light fixing fixtures, which have this sort of golden tint to it. It gives, it warms up the space quite well, but these, all these dark uh, grays and blacks, it, it really brings this place to life, giving it that more homely feel. And also with the tan leather chairs and th that cupboard to my right, or to my other right, if I may put it like that, it really brings up, brings this place back to life and warms up the, the place quite well. So then on this side, I love how it effortlessly just flows into the living area. This is an open plan. So most of the space, the, the functional space is vertical. It was used effectively vertically. So coming here, you have this lovely sitting area, study area, I guess, and studying here with this amazing view. This is a northern east view. So you get the, these sea views and also behind you guys, which we'll, we'll show you a little bit later, you get the table mountain views, very stunning and just on the corner, you have the, the main CBD area in Cape Town. So coming into the side, <laughs> firstly, this must be, I think the largest TV we've ever toured. It probably is, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, so this is, <laughs> this is just massive, but I think it, it does fill up the space quite well. I love the, the color scheme that we used here. Like it's, it's very consistent with the grays. And also what I was saying before in terms of trying to warm up the space a bit, using sort of the, this wooden cognac color. And you come this side, and also there's a lot of plant 
well, this is up to the staging, I guess. There's a lot of plants in and around the space, which just li livens up the space quite well. And this is very interesting, a very interesting contemporary light fixture which overhangs the space. I guess it could be a reading lamp, if you want to call it there. So I'm coming to you guys just to show you how stunning these views are. Um, if you guys look here, I love that it's a corner apartment, so you have sort of privacy here. There's no really neighbors either side. You just have this overall stunning picturesque views of the main Cape Town area, CBD, sea views, and also the mountain range. Very stunning, and obviously below us is book up those colorful houses that you guys normally see on sort of Cape Town tourist guide books. Uh, interesting story about why those houses are colorful, and also just to draw you back to the exterior of this building or the exterior of this development, it does sort of imitate the colors of the book up houses. When the Dutch settlers settled in Cape Town, Book up era was meant for the enslaved indigenous people and they weren't allowed to sort of paint their houses other than white. That's the only color that they were allowed to paint their houses. So when they did get freed, they, they painted their houses sort of a lot of different various colors. For them, that was just sort of an expression of the freedom. And that's something that they did with this development. They imitated sort of that, broke up different colors. I'm sure we'll, we'll show you guys the, the facade of this development, which I think it was very cool. And, uh, um, yeah, <laughs> basically very cool. I really love the openness and the, the way in which this apartment flows in this main living area. And one thing I didn't also point out are these double high ceilings, double volume high ceilings, which make the space feel so much bigger. It brings in so much light, that light just pours into this main living area. I really love that. And next we're gonna see the bedrooms upstairs. Let's go. So coming off this landing, we have this stunning mezzanine floor, which is currently staged as an, so, sort of an office. And it's a stunning office to have overlooking with the, this stunning view. You have these sea views and overall, same, same with the floor below, you have this corner views with the mountain and main Cape Town district. And sort of have this pause moment here. I really love the openness of this area. The staircase has this see-through balustrade, which opens up the space so well. So sort of, um, continuing with that, that, that utilization of that space so smartly. Coming into the first bedroom, have these large frame doors, continuation of the gray color. Walk in here, the floor finish changes, you have a carpet here. And for me, these picture framed views are absolutely stunning. You have this, and this is from the first, it's not the main bedroom, but the first bedroom. Have these overall stunning city views. And these windows are double glazed, so in terms of sound, it's minimized. And if I close that, this, the sound in here will be dead quiet, which is quite nice for um, an apartment at the top. So coming in this side, this is the bathroom for this bedroom. I love the space, you have ample amount of space here. Backsplash or tiling, dark charcoal. I have a floating vanity here with this cabinetry. Short, soft clothes, soft clothes. You have this setup here. Mirror, I love the backsplash here. You have the different texture which balances out with the dark, harsh colors of the grays. Behind this obscure glass, you have your water closet behind there. Now going into the second bedroom, which is, firstly, before we go into there, you have the storage here. For people that are wondering, where's the storage for this room? You have this storage here, ample amount of storage. So coming in back this side, this is where we came from, the mezzanine floor. So bringing you guys this side. Before we get into the second bedroom, I'd like to draw you guys just a bit here to the storage and the passage. This is for like towels, um, toilet paper rolls, those types of things. I love how it's the same color as the wall. So it's sort of seamless and you wouldn't notice that there's a sort of a built-in cupboard here. Coming into the second bedroom, darker. It feels darker because it's, it's more into the interior of the development. But before we get into the bedroom, come this side. This is the bathroom for this bedroom. Similar setup to the one that we just saw. You have your floating vanity here with this dark finish, gray finish, charcoal finish to this cabin tree, lovely black splash tiling. And in the shower, you have this different colored uh, tile finish, sort of a mosaic-like, just a bit bigger. 
and recessed lighting, everything that you need here, and you have your extractor here. Water closet, everything really perfect. So coming back to the side to the bedroom, ample amount of space in the room. You have your built-in cupboards here with the similar finish to the cabinetry. Here you have your window set up here, opening up to the interior of the development. Just because this room ha doesn't have sort of uh, outside views, you have this window set up here. So coming into my, I think this is my favorite room. And in the comments down below, mention which is your favorite room. I think this one is my favorite room. Cause you walk in here and you feel this bright light pouring into the, the room. This is the main bedroom. Stunning views, waking up to these views every single day. I could imagine how amazing that must feel. So similar to the, the, the bedrooms that you come from, just that you don't have mountain views, you have sea views and main Cape Town sort of business area views. And the, it's not floor to ceiling, but it's very, very large. And you have this roller that you can just pull down in case you wanna see outside. This room is very generous in size, lots of room in this bedroom. So if you come this side, if you follow me here, you have, in the beginning, I wasn't too sure what this was. I thought maybe it was a built-in cupboard, but it actually is a walk-in closet, which is very large. I was very surprised by this detail of this apartment. And this, this offers so much more to this apartment. You have a walk-in closet with the window opening here just to bring a little bit of lighting, natural lighting. And obviously you have some recessed lighting above us and lots of, lots of amounts of open shelving to my left and to my right. And coming back this side to my right, you have the bathroom, stunning, stunning bathroom. I really love the colors. And because it's also similar to the bedroom that we just went to, it's in the interior of the development. So it, it can, it's so susceptible to feeling sort of dark and gloomy. But I think what they did here was stunning. The lighting, the, the plants, and the, just the overall composition of this bathroom is very stunning. So just bringing you guys a little bit back here, you have the standalone bath, stunning bath here, and you have one thing I didn't see when you walked in is this sort of locker room type of cabinetry. Very interesting, gives you sort of that industrial uh, feel. Coming this side, double, double vanity, floating vanity, double mirrors. You have it all here. And also window opening to the interior. Large shower, walk-in shower is actually massive. Uh, if I just walk in, just show you guys how large the shower is. Literally a walk-in shower, walk-in and stroll around shower. And to my right, you walk in here, here's your water closet. Um, yeah, so coming back this side into the main area where we just came from, <laughs> coming back this side, uh, we have to finish the tour, we're gonna end up at the top floor, the rooftop, let's go. So coming off here, this is the main terrace. I really love this space. It sort of, it encompasses what this apartment is about. You have these stunning views, three, one eight, I'd say 180 degree views. You have Table Mountain, Lion's Head, Devil's Peak, the, the whole city here, and you have sea views, very stunning views. You have all everything you ever want here. And what I love about this deck here is that in terms of the space, it's big enough to to have sort of a pool area here. There's plumbing to allow for that. There's a tap there. So you could have maybe a pool here. You could have a jacuzzi here and you could kit it out the way in which you want. And I love the sitting space, which could also complement sort of a, a pool vibe here. I really love this space here. So if you made it this far in the video, thank you so much. And please down below in the comments, I need you guys to go off and tell me which bedroom you think was the best one. I think the main bedroom, I think maybe that's obvious, but I don't know. Just go off in the comments and thank you so much for getting this far. Give us a thumbs up, it, did it. it really does help the channel grow and reach reach more people. So thank you so much. And also before we end the tour, massive shout out to Jody for getting us into a stunning listing. I'll link her details down below. And as always from us at List Prop and to you guys, have a lovely festive season. See you soon.